Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your July forecasts. So um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. It's nice to have you here. Um, this is a general reading, so that means it's not going to apply to everyone watching. I would definitely say watch your Sun, your Moon and your Rising Sign readings for additional messages that apply to you. Um, and just keep an open mind, okay, for the readings. Take what resonates, disregard the rest. Um, if you're interested in a private reading just for you, the link to my website is below. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, that link is also below. Um, so what I'm doing differently for, for patrons is um, doing um, an extended reading, okay? So giving additional advice. So that's the difference, okay? Um, so let's have a look at what's going on here. At the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, as your overall energy of the month, we do have the Strength card. So the Strength card here, what I'm getting with this is conviction, uh, determination, uh, standing your ground, uh, not necessarily going to war, but not changing your mind or not changing how you feel just because someone else doesn't get it. Um, there may be a Leo energy around this. So um, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, either that person is challenging you, that person is uh, questioning you. Um, or you have Leo in your chart, in which case this is you, okay? Further, this is a time of patience. You have to show someone patience. Give them time to come around. Give them time to understand because someone is particularly difficult during this time with, with a certain aspect in your life, okay? And the message is don't try to force them. It's not gonna go well. Um, don't lose hope. There's no need for that. Just be patient. Let them take as long as they need to understand what you're trying to say, okay? They will come around, but you just have to, you know, show them patience, grace, and stand your ground. You know, like, that doesn't mean, okay, I'm standing my ground. That means, this is what I believe. I'm not gonna change what I believe because of you. Um, when you're ready to talk about it, when you're ready to ask me things, I will explain, I'm here. Let me know, but you take your time, okay? That sort of energy. This is also a time of, success in manifestation uh you have to take charge though you have to be confident so it could be a great time for negotiation but again you have to go into it with confidence with i know what i'm worth you know what i'm worth so how about we don't play games um not selling yourself short during this time that's definitely a big no-no okay ask for what you're worth regardless regardless of how it applies ask for what you're worth when it comes to career, finances, personal projects, education, your business, we have the Three of Cups. So with the Three of Cups, there is celebration, there is success, there is manifestation, there is abundance. So you're celebrating a successful negotiation, you're celebrating a successful interview, you're celebrating a promotion, you're celebrating um, a raise with this energy because there is abundance, okay? Um, for others of you, this is you got in, you got into that school, you got into that program, you uh, were your file was accepted, your file was approved, uh, your paperwork is okay, you got the, the permit, you got the visa, you got um, the residency, you got the citizenship um, with this energy. You got the loan, you got the mortgage, you're getting the house, okay? Um, for others, this is your business is doing very well. You stood your ground and you were true to yourself. Your business is now really starting to soar. Um, so it's very, very, um, much success with that as well um four i also feel like you were you were true to yourself and you changed your job if you weren't happy in it and now this is the month where uh you have a new job and the people there are much more your speed so that's awesome home and family here we go home and family uh, and your close friends, we do have the emperor. So this is the person who um, they believe what they believe. They're not really willing to negotiate. They're not really willing to compromise. And if they know they're wrong, they're not gonna admit it ever in a million years. But give them time, they will come around, okay? So this person could be a father figure. This person could be an elder in your family. This person could be your partner um, or a particularly difficult child. I know it's the emperor and it usually talks about someone older, um, but I feel it also talks about an, an imbalanced Aries individual. So that means what I believe goes, what I believe is the truth. Uh, do not question me, do not challenge me. And it also kind of gives me a, a bit of an adolescent type of vibe, okay? When they think they know everything, okay? So for some, that's what's going on, and you just have to show them care and, and uh, patience 
and no, you know what, you're gonna get it eventually. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get what's going on, I mean. Um, you're gonna get how things happen. Um, you have to go off and do things your own way. You have to try things your own way, but when you need help or when you need guidance, I'm here, just let me know, okay? That sort of energy. For others of you, this is successful dealings with authority figures once again. So uh, getting green lights, getting approved, getting uh, mortgages, getting the house. Um, if it's a home-based business, this is success with that. And also if anyone's reviewed or assessed or audited um, something you do or something you submitted, um, th there is success with that, okay? And a green light as well. So if you've applied to expand the house, then you're getting the green light. So something like that as well. For your emotional life and love life, we have the seven of pentacles. So with the seven of pentacles, again, I'm getting like, you have to be patient with someone and you have to give them their time and you have to keep yourself busy doing something else while they're figuring it out for themselves. Um, what I'm getting with that is for some, this is just, you know what, let's just put this on pause for now. Let's just not have this conversation. It's not something that is happening right now. So it could be something like how to raise your children. You don't have children yet. You don't plan to have children very, very soon, but you're arguing over how to raise your children give it time give it room to breathe there's still things for you to go through there's still things for him to go through or her to go through to change their perspectives or to add or expand to their perspectives there's no point in fighting over it now okay uh stuff like um where to send them to school uh how to bring them up uh religion um you know what kind of activities they should do if this is about children for others again this is about something that hasn't happened yet it's not planned to happen anytime soon but you're arguing over it as if it's here already so uh, marriage um, where to live um, again it's just about okay be present here and now and just focus on what's going on here and now okay cross those bridges when you get to them for now there's no point in arguing and creating uh, discord in a relationship that is otherwise okay for the level that you're at okay so just keep that in mind for those of you who are single and um, and looking with the seven of Pentacles this tells me that you have been kind of holding on to something or someone hoping they come back with this energy or uh, kind of just taking yourself out of it altogether become a little bit of a wallflower and the message here with the seven of Pentacles and the strength card is if you want to meet someone you have to get back in the game if you want to meet someone you have to you know go back into it with confidence show the world who you are let them see you because then they can you know be attracted to you they can get to know you they can want to get to know you better um but you have to let people see you you have to um give them an idea of who you are if you're hiding away um not really doing anything um you know it's, it's just a lot difficult for connections to happen okay so just keep that in mind um but with the seven of pentacles i feel that this is saying you know what you've waited long enough you have to get back in there okay so um makeovers can happen um changing your look changing your wardrobe can happen changing where you go you know in terms of activities groups of people you hang out with and that is the change that will get you a lot of the right kind of attention during this time so there's earth sign energy here so that would could be yours but also other people so taurus virgo capricorn also leo energy around you as well or you're more of a leo during this time you attract a lot of attention so this just means use it well make it um make the most of it okay um, and for others, I feel like you have multiple options and this is a time when you have to look at them and pick one, okay, to commit to, because this is commitments as well. So that's really good. Could also be looking at someone proposing to you or someone offering some sort of commitment to you and you're thinking about, is it what I want? Is it not what I want? Okay. Um, for your challenge, we do have the Empress. So the challenge with the Empress So this is Taurus and Libra. So for some of you, the person you're dealing with, if it's not an Aries, they could also have Taurus in their chart or they could also be a Libra uh, or have Libra in their chart as well as their sun sign, their moon sign or their rising sign. Um, and that is where the challenge lies. For others of you, the challenge is um, having to be nurturing when someone's being difficult, having to be patient when someone's difficult. Um, the challenge is ask for what you're worth and you will receive it so this could be a really good time for negotiation and a really good time for getting what you want but you have to ask for it and you have to be confident um, and show people 
that you know what you're worth and you're not willing to accept anything less, okay? And that can be a bit of a challenge because it's not necessarily easy to do, you know? Uh, especially if you're a little bit shy or if you're trying to be fair to everyone. and It's not easy, but that's why this is your challenge. This is your time. You have to put yourself first and ask for what you deserve, okay? Do not settle. Again, be present in the moment. Look at all the abundance and all the beauty you have around you already. Um, don't think too far ahead, okay? And don't worry about things that have not happened. Enjoy your present situation because it's beautiful. You have love there, you have abundance there. Rejoice in it, okay? The challenge with the emperor and the empress here, it can be um, a, a pregnancy that kind of spins things around for you and it makes you worry about all sorts of things. Um, Again, just bring it back into the present moment, okay? You're gonna be parents, you're gonna figure it out together. Uh, take it one step at a time, but enjoy th this blessing that you're receiving, okay? Um, for some, the challenge is accepting the attention or accepting someone's intention towards you and they're telling you that they have feelings for you and so on and so forth. The challenge could be picking one. Maybe you have three different options that you're looking at and the challenge is, okay, I wanna I have to pick one. Um, but I kind of like them all, so what do I do? So that's your challenge. Um, you have to be true to you, whatever the challenge here is. You have to be true to you. Um, do what makes you happy, but again, bring it back into the present moment. Bring it back to where you are because there's a lot of beauty, there's a lot of love, and there's a lot of abundance there. Rejoice in that and don't worry about the things that haven't happened yet, might not ever happen, okay? Let's look at your additional guidance for the month. So we have Archangel Raphael. I'm helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So you are a healer. You do have the patience. You do have the compassion. You're just going to have to work extra hard on it during this time. For others of you, this is about healing a relationship, healing a marriage, choosing love. I want to be happy over wanting to be right type of situation. Your heart chakra is activated during this time, so surround yourself with love or see the love already in your life and appreciate it, okay? Enjoy it. This is a time of healing, of nurturing yourself, of caring for yourself, making sure you're happy and healthy. Um, and it can be because of a pregnancy, so now you have to nurture yourself extra well. Um, or this is about um, Prepare your body if you want to get pregnant, you know, nurture yourself, show yourself attention and affection. And for others of you, this is about um, release, whatever causes stress, uh, whatever causes stress and anxiety for you. Um, you have so much beauty in your life already. Don't cloud your mind and your heart with things that you can't control or things that are not important or things that are not even happening. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, so that is your reading for the month. It's a beautiful reading. It's an absolutely beautiful reading, okay, with the Emperor and the Empress here and Archangel Raphael. I feel like there can also be some fated connections happening during this time, like a, like meeting the person you're meant to be with or meeting the person you're meant to have children with or the person you're meant to be with for the rest of your life type of energy. Um, but again, it's very important to be true to you, um, be genuine and be open, okay? Activate your heart chakra, be open to love, okay? Because it's all already around you. Um, so have a fantastic month. Comment down below, let me know how things go for you or how the cards apply. Thank you for all your beautiful support and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.